How's it going everybody and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. My goal here on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers with every single video that I make and so if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button to join Team TRF. Subscribing, liking, commenting, engaging in the video really helps this channel grow. So if you guys could do that, that would be amazing. Now before we get into the content of this video, which I am so excited about, which is discovering do all the stigmas we hear about bass fishing, all the all the rule book sayings, the bass in the fall, follow the bait fish. As that water temp drops, those bass are migrating to the back of the creeks, so we gotta follow them back there. Today, we're gonna try to debunk that and see if that actually is the case here in Texas. But first, I gotta talk about the sponsor of today's video and one of the big integral parts of this video, which is going to be the Angler Bullseye. Now, I've made a much longer video on what the bullseye is and the technology surrounding this little Bluetooth button here on my hat, but just a quick little thing about it, it is a fish tracker. So when you clip this thing to your hat or your boat or your necklace, you can bring it with you on your fishing trips. If you're on a river, on a lake, on a coastal system, and it combines GPS tracking as well as weather and water data. So current flow, barometric pressure, uh, rainfall, and it puts all that together. So when you press this button to ding a fish catch, and at the end of the day, after your trip is done, you can see exactly why and where you caught those fish. So I'm gonna be tracking all my fish catches today. Hopefully there are many. And the Angler app has some awesome challenges you can complete with great benefits, such as discounts on the Angler store, soon to be discounts on sponsors' products. So you want some, some, some percentage off lures, you can get that by completing the Angler challenges. So right now, the two challenges I am working on are the Clutch Catcher Challenge and the Fall Fishing Challenge. Clutch Catcher requires 10 catches. I'm eight out of 10 on the way there, so that one should be completed today. And the Fall Challenge needs 30 catches, which hopefully I can get done today and the next day. Again, the bullseye is such a cool part of what I do, and y'all see it on my hat every single day that I go fishing, but I say we hop on the water and we start fishing some main lake stuff to try to see if the fish really aren't there. All right, so to start a few things, conditions for today's fishing adventure. Oh, my trolling motor. Stop it. This thing's a mess. Conditions for today's adventure, like I said, fall, we have a pretty beautiful day. I mean, I wish there were some clouds in the sky. It's bluebird, which should mean fishing is a little bit tougher today, but a little bit of wind out here today. It's like 70 degrees. I know I'm wearing three different shades of gray, so don't make fun of me. And like I said, we're gonna start with some main lake stuff. So right here we have a big main lake point. You're gonna see me work around. After that, we'll move kind of to a secondary point and then back into a cut. And we'll do that probably a few different times throughout the video to really see if that age old story of, of bass moving to the back of the creeks to follow the bait fish is true, water temp is 61.7, so it is fall here in Texas. 50 degrees is about the coldest we ever get. So if it gets down to 61, that means it is fall. All right, so nothing on this first little main lake area. I did realize though that this point here does have a little bit of cut here that I guess you could kind of call a creek. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover water very quickly to see if, you know, maybe they're in the back of this cut. Ergo, they'd be in the back of some other cuts. So we're going to cover water very quickly from main lake to main lake cut, and then work our way to a secondary point, secondary cut, and then way back in the creek, that style. And hopefully we'll have some results for you guys. There's a lot of spiders under there, man. Ugh. Oh, is that a fish? Oh, that's a fish, baby. Oh, let's think and go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, a spotted bass, baby. That right there is a ding. Felt my phone buzz. Come on, come on. No, you're gonna hook me. You're gonna hook me. Hey, chill. He got off himself. Literally the tiniest of spotted basses. So, not the size we're looking for, but that is telling. Okay, as we worked our way back here into a little cut, we got our first bite. Let's keep going and see if that's a pattern. Okay, day. Nothing in the very far back. I say we move ourselves to the next point and begin this process all over.
Well, this here isn't exactly a point. It's more kind of like a secondary bend area. But I think these docks and this pier up here could definitely serve as kind of a... No way. I hope, oh my gosh, literally made a cast with a shaky head up shallow. It didn't even have time to get to the bottom and like a four pounder ate it and just got off. Holy cow, I wasn't even like ready to set the hook yet. Dang it. Well, that was a bass and he was here. So I'm going to press this knowing that I didn't actually catch this fish. It'll count towards the challenges, but who cares? Cause I don't think I have to land every fish. Oh, that bites to no fish is here. And that might've been one too. All right, nothing on the back side of this. Let's keep going farther. That boy wasn't quite sure where to go. That's a fish. That's a fish right there, boys and girls. That's a bass right there. We're gonna power pull down. Hey, 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 let's go. Again, not a big one. This time it is a large mouth though on the square bill. Square bill has gotten both of our fish besides the shaky head one that I lost. And this one again was in the back of a little pocket. So. I mean, we're starting to see a pattern emerge, but I'm gonna give it a full day. We're going all the way to three o'clock, baby. Oh, forgot to ding that one. There's one. Hey, 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 another one. Oh, gosh dang it. Bad, see, I y'all y'all know them. I know them. Y'all know this on the channel. I cannot set the hook backwards. That just does not work for me. A backwards hook set like this doesn't work. So I gotta stop putting myself in that position. But that was another fish right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> two more fish. <laughs> there are some fish back in this pocket, man. I'm gonna power pull down and keep working this area. That one ate it right at the boat. But I don't feel horrible. They're all small. So far, it seems like, you know, back of any kind of small pocket like this is where they are. But I also gotta remember that all these fish have been small. So. I don't think this is really where the fish, the fish I'm looking for, I should say, are. I think they're going to be back on those points, probably pulling up from deeper water. There's not a whole lot of access to deep water back here. So I'm not really disproving the old saying of bass going to the back of the creeks yet. Because, I mean, if you look at the fish catches I'm having, they're all in the back. But we've still got a lot more stuff to fish. Hokey doke. Another pocket done. Let's pull this trolling motor up and get ourselves to uh, the next point. Or your big buddy friends, huh? No? Ding. That one, that's one, yep, there you go. Backwards hook set is not the deal, but hey, another fish, another spot. <laughs> Where are the big ones? Come on. one.
because this does not help prove or disprove any point. See ya, buddy. Dang it. All right, nothing main lake. Let's head to another point or bank or something, main lake. with this little dinky dink. Sheesh, man. So what is my final synopsis on today's adventure? Well, you know what? I don't really have an answer. And, and I, I hate days like this where you don't get the answer you wanted or you don't get an answer at all. And today I didn't have an answer I wanted. I didn't want to catch the main leg. I didn't want to catch them in the back of pockets. I just wanted to figure out what you guys should do out there. And here on this channel, I love to fight the always clauses of bass fishing because I don't believe that hardly anything is always the case when it comes to fishing because fish are fish and they do whatever the heck they want. And that was kind of the case that I saw today. Caught a few, you know, closer to the main lake. I caught a few way back in a cove. But the one consistent thing was that all of them that I caught, maybe besides one or two, were in the backs of little cuts or in the shade. So that seemed to be the, the key today, for at least for what I figured out. So if I was to come out here tomorrow, I would really pattern that all across the lake to try to run into some more fish. But there's one thing that I want to talk about, and that is the size of fish. The one big fish that I did hook today, of course I lost it, was on a more steeper type bluff bank. It did hit in like two feet of water and then took my shaky head and I couldn't quite get the hook into it. But the biggest fish I got was more on the main lake closest to deep water. And from all the traveling I've done, when you are fishing on a pressured body of water, I think we are running into a situation now where not even in the fall to chase bait fish are big ones going to come up shallow on average. If you live in Minnesota, Wisconsin, New York, and you don't have as many anglers targeting, pressuring your fish, I think those types of states and lakes definitely have more big ones that move up shallow to feed in the fall. But I think down here in, in Texas, we have so many anglers. It's a Monday today that I was fishing and I probably saw 12 bass boats out here in this small little area that I stuck to. And so if that's just this lake, imagine how many other anglers on a Monday are out on all the lakes across the Dallas Fort Worth area. We have pressured fish down here and the more that I see other YouTubers like Millican Fishing and some other you know fishing guides of mine, uh, Jack York fishes on Lake Fork, they hardly ever fish shallow. They are fishing deep with their electronics no matter the time of the year. I think spawn is the only time here in the south that fish are really going to come shallow, big fish I mean. So could I go out there tomorrow? replicate this pattern and catch more fish in the way in the backs of coves and cuts, I could. And I think that's the best chance of catching fish during the fall. So if you just wanna go out there and catch fish, that's probably the answer for you. But I really think fishing slow and fishing main lake stuff, or at least stuff close to the main lake, is still the best move to catch big ones. Do not follow the book that says all bass, every fish, all the time moves to the very back of the cove to chase bait fish. There are bait fish all around your lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams, so there's no need for you to have to follow the rule book to go all the way to the back. I say we finish this angler trip right here on the bullseye. Again, thank you so much to Angler for sponsoring this channel and this life that I live. I, I love the fact that I get to do what I do for a living, and it would not be possible without the sponsors of this channel, Angler being one of them. I will leave that bullseye linked down in the video description, as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. We're gonna close down this trip Trip. And by looking at the map replay, I'm going to be able to tell exactly where I was to edit this video really cool for you guys. Hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time right here on TRF. Oh, gosh. Darn it. That felt really good.